when you were traveling to Kenya, uh, before you came, what are the things that you had been warned about us? As South Africans, we know very little about Kenya or actually the rest of Africa. So we, we underestimate actually how much Kenyans consume South African content, but we actually know very little about uh, people in the rest of the continent. And maybe it's because of like the spread of social media and it hasn't got to a level where we are cross-consuming content and understanding. So I didn't know too much. I know you guys run, but then when I came here, I found out everybody's not running. Um, you know, we, we know you guys have got animals, but we've also got animals, so we're like, ah, how are they special? Uh, your protests are very good quality protests. We have not... <laughs> I was surprised the guys are catching a tear gas in the middle of the air. <laughs> and I was like, hey, these guys are soldiers. I want to meet them. And, and uh, so it was, but when I arrived here, I think this is the one country where I noticed is so similar to South Africa, especially in terms of freedom, like a freedom of speech. So for example, you guys can say anything about the opposition or even the president. Whereas uh, we can do that in South Africa as well. Uh, but I think any other country in Africa, you say that and... Uh, there's problems. There's big problems. Yeah. I think I'm part of the people who enjoy the liberty of you can say anything about anyone. And I think and you're that's still here. props. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But then uh, when you say um, similarities in culture, uh, you mentioned something in passing. That you enjoy staying in Kenya because Kenyans treat you as a white man. Now, ah. But in South Africa, you are as black as the rest of the population. So when, yeah, when I arrived over here, on the second day I walked in the CBD, and then my friend was taking a picture with me, and then there was a lady behind me, and then she quickly ran away, and I was like, no, it's fine, you can stand in the picture. And she's like, no, I don't want a picture with him, Zungu. <laughs> and then I looked around, I was like, where is this white man? Where? Yes. And, then, and then I said, I also don't want a picture with him, Zungu. And then I realized that... You are the Mzungu. <laughs> I was the Mzungu. Yes. So uh, with, with this new responsibility of being white, <laughs> I found that today I even had to arrive early at the interview. I arrived, <laughs> you I arrived one hour before I needed to because I don't, yes. want, to, I don't want to let the white people down. They've, <laughs> they've welcomed me with open arms into... And this is my first time being white, so honestly, I mean, <laughs> I even bought this white thing specially <laughs> just for the show. Just to are, you sure. scared, are, you scared of, uh, are you scared that way, when you fly back to South Africa, you'll be black again? As in, <laughs> is that a concern now? I don't know how long it's going to last. So <laughs> I'm, just, uh, I'm, just, I'm just hoping, even for five minutes when I land in South Africa, at least yeah. then the line we'll will be short at immigration and they won't ask me too many questions about why I'm returning home. Ah. How big is the race question in South Africa? Because I have come to understand that in South Africa, there are white people who are actually Africans. Right now, as it is, um, people, mostly people of color, remain poor. And uh, the riches are, are with a select few. So in a space like that, where I actually enjoy Kenya, nobody... Uh, there's, no, there's no real racism in Kenya, is there? There is. But, but it's amongst us, like us, us. Not between uh, black people and white people. It's about, but you would, it's but you would call it maybe tribalism in a no, way? No, 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 no. No? Black girls and light skins. <laughs> that's, far, that's, that's the kind of racism that we have. But we are, we are okay with that. Yeah, but yeah, so, so over, over here, and it's like you, you, you judge somebody as a Kenyan first before. So you could be one of the 44 tribes or even a Muhindi, and you don't judge them and say, okay, they've got money and we need to submit to them yeah. or treat them any differently. Or do you? We, Kenyan, Kenya is a very interesting country. We are only divided on politics, but uh -huh. we are the colonizers of Africa. Have you heard of an application called Twitter? <laughs> you mean X? Yes, X. Yes. We are, we are, I believe you've also heard rumors of how bad we are when it comes to there. I think even South Africa cannot even dare. Compete with Kenyans. Not compete. Dare, uchokozi um, inaitwaje na kizungu. I think uh, Ke Kenya, 
Kenya can even um, bring activities in the U.S. on Twitter to a standstill. We are one country uh, on Twitter, but we are divided every five years uh, for elections. <laughs> but then after the tension, we come back together and life continues. So is, every, is everybody still on Twitter now with the name changes and everything? Yes, yes, yes. Still we, are still there. we are still there. And we are there. Not I think you guys are the only ones there. there. We would have left with the rebranding, but we are always there waiting for Tanzanians to say something, <laughs> for Ugandans to say something, so that we can. But show I feel up. that's unfair because there's only, I think, seven Tanzanians on Twitter. Yes, yes, there's a. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! Uh, but we drag them. We drag them just for the sake. Like, we have, we have fun with Tanzanians, and I believe this is picking up on a weak opponent, because they can't respond. They don't, they, there's no Swahili Twitter. There's no Swahili Twitter. There so, isn't? They should make one. No, no, no. You fight in English. In Twitter, you fight in English. <laughs> yes. You know, this in is, fact, this I was is wondering... Like, this is like when you're, you're, you're maybe fighting with your, with your partner, and then they correct your English. They're like, no. I, I went, <laughs> I, I left the club after four, not four after I left the club. Like, uh, they, 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 uh, they beat you on the technicality, they yes, start yes, questioning. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, so that's what we do. So we are united on that front. Uh -huh. mm. So before you tell us about your beef with Nigerians, like really, <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, what advice would you have for a Kenyan who, who would be interested to immigrate to South Africa, like to settle there? What would they expect the culture in in south africa in in johannesburg is a whole lot like nairobi it's very like business orientated people are always trying to hustle trying to get something trying to create a living for themselves um so in that sense it's it's almost the most similar i've i've seen so you'll be surprised that once you get to south africa that things are actually a whole not that much different yes maybe our infrastructure is slightly more developed uh -huh. uh have you seen the expressway banner what do you mean <laughs> at our infrastructure is a little more developed have you why, seen the why, expressway? why do you build a circle and then you build a bridge on top of the circle like why <laughs> it's like you you looked at it uh, you looked at the west and you're like yeah we we want a circle but we also <laughs> want a bridge like what's next are you going to put a tunnel underneath uh, the circle and the bridge <laughs> really, really <laughs> first of all answer please answer the question have you seen the expressway I have, but nobody's on it. What do you mean? It's always empty. I'm thinking, are you guys constructing? Is ah. that 300 shillings too expensive? Because everybody prefers to be in the traffic. Ah. Oh, so I don't know if that's, a, if that's part do of the culture. you have an expressway, like that one in South Africa? Every road is an expressway that? in ah. South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> now you're showing off, Bana. Now you're showing off. Like, you have to strike that out. There's no way your infrastructure is superior than ours. Okay, what, what else do you have other than your bridge on top of your circle? Is ah. there any... <laughs> Which bridge are you talking about? Ni bridge ganio? No, the expressway is a bridge. It's a continuous bridge that is standing on stilettos. Aha. What else? What else? Ni infrastructure gani gine tukonayo? SGR. Do you have the SGR? Have you seen the SGR? You don't even know oh, what the, the SGR the is. The Chinese you don't train. Even the Chinese train. Uh -huh. No, not the train, the, the, the track, the track. The trains are, in fact, those are not our real trains. Those are just our waiting trains. The real trains are coming. <laughs> so Where the are they Chinese, coming from? Those are supposed to just test the tracks. Like the real bullet trains are coming. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. We do, we do have a how train, which is similar a to... A what? How train. <laughs> that is our version of the SGR. We've got you it. You have a buluya, <laughs> That's unfair. What did you say? No, no, no. I said you are a clever man. <laughs> <laughs> I receive. Thank you. Thank uh -huh. you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. We can't debate on infrastructure. Uh, <clears throat> what, what else to expect? Uh, what else? Nothing. We have, we have cars that look the same. Over here, every car is a different car. Yes. Like there's no two same cars. Mm-hmm. One, like you'll have a pink Rolls Royce and then you have like a small... Every, every Uber is, looks like a different, a different car. So we have more... Our, our, our car industry is more uniform. 
more Uni uniform. Yes. Oh. So I walked, I walked into a VW from the outside, and then on the inside there was a Mercedes-Benz steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so we, <laughs> we don't have that sort of collaboration. Ah, <laughs> uh, eh. uh, uh, okay, okay. I think you, you first buy the car and then you can select which badges you want to put on. <laughs> you put it together in. And I think that's one thing we've heard about South Africa. When you ask about what we've heard about you, uh, one of the top insecurities. Oh, our matatus. You, don't have like too many screens. That means you don't have matatus. <laughs> yes, we. we it, the primary purpose is is transportation, okay. not TV. <laughs> like it seems like your matatus are in the TV business. And then transportation is just like an added benefit. Like we can. Mm -hmm. This other matatu had TV screens outside the matatu. Yes. So I was in an Uber and I said, follow this matatu because I was watching something. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's how I eventually arrived in Kisi. I was like this. Is... So now you, you, you're forced to follow this car. You don't even know where it's going. Like, can they not? Can they not tell you before they start the series, yes. this is going to Kisi? <laughs> so, at uh, least you know what you're getting into. Ah, uh, hey. <clears throat> ah, Niliwambia Vafa is very good vibe. Zopi makofi yake. Ah, Manzi. Uh, what brings you to Kenya before we let you go? Ah, so for me, uh, for me, I'm, I'm really... Oh, so I'm a stand-up comedian and also a content creator. Yes. And uh, uh, my... You know, my dream is to speak to sub-Saharan African people. So those, I believe, are my people. And uh, I've been doing comedy in South Africa and Southern Africa for a while. And now I decided, let me travel east before I go to the Nigerians. Because the level of wash-wash needs to be perfected first before you. <laughs> That's your beef with Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> I, I finally found a way to answer. Uh -huh. So... So for me, I love people. And, you know, coming here is... Uh, uh, so I've been here for three weeks. And uh, I really love interacting. So I've, I've done, as you've seen, a couple of clips with the local content creators. Uh, some of them had met them before, close friends of mine. And I, I really want to be able to learn and understand people in this region. You know, and I thought, what better way through through comedy. So I'm, I'm learning a lot from the content creators and I'm also sharing with them experiences from South Africa. Okay. And for me, I, I really see this as an opportunity where, you know, the South and the East and eventually the entire Africa can be more united. Okay. And in a way that we could share humor and understand each other better. Okay. So uh, I'll be making my way down to Kenya or up, sorry. Depends how you look at we are higher than South Africa. We <laughs> finally found a way to say it. <laughs> <laughs> are you doing any stand-up shows or you're just uh, collaborating with the content creator? So I, I did a couple of stand-up shows. Um, that was in the initial part of my stay. And then now collaborating with content creators. Okay. And then before the end of the year, I will be back to Thank do you. some stand-up shows. So Thank you. You'll definitely see that. Thank you. You're most welcome, Bana. Uh, I was introduced to Vafa by the CEO of SPM Buzz, uh, one of the budding and fastest growing, actually, uh, social media or uh, internet uh, news organization. The CEO of Anaitua Eddie Butita. Munamujua? Yeah, hey, man, it's a very good vibes. You, you, I, I mentioned it. Um, I really enjoy uh, the conversation with you, both on set and off set. And uh, please give us a shout. Anafa kuruditena aki kujau kusindio? Aya, asante sana. Asante. Asante. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for making time for us. Karibu.